Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel here. My name is Specplay and we're going to be checking out a new game. It's called Tinseltown Tycoon and it was developed by Caffeine Independent. And what is this game? It is a game, well when I first seen it, I seen the, the screenshots of it, I thought about, you know, Hollywood Mogul. Because th that game was uh, in guards of cinema games like uh, cinema management games and Owning your own studio, that was a great game back in the day. And that's what this one caught my eye for. And so we'll we'll go into it and we'll see if it is a game like Hollywood Mogul or if it's a you know different variation of the game. Um let's just start a new game here and, and let's just uh play the game and see what happens here. It was released on May 12th, uh, so it's out now. You can go pick it up at Steam. And uh yeah, we'll just start a new game. Through a series of unfortunate and convoluted events, you now find yourself at the, helm, at, the, at the helm of a small, unimportant movie production studio. The studio has few assets and no history of success, but now that you have total control over operation, it's time to show the world you are the bee's knees of studio's executives. You should start by renaming the studio so it can rise from the ashes. Okay, so work quickly. Oh, it looks uh, we're going to be picking the prism. Or this uh, triangle, this uh, pyramid, and uh, with that uh, logo in mind, will be called Pyramid Flicks. Pyramid Flicks. Oh my god! Pyramid. Uh, Jesus. Pyramid. <laughs> Actually, we'll call pictures. Let's go a little bit classier. A little bit classier. I don't know. The worst builder ever. Let's go. Let's go. Loading the data of Tinseltown Tycoon. Yeah, so that's that's the reason I wanted to play this game, because of Hollywood Mogul. I was, uh, you know, obsessed with that game when it was out. In part, I, like, I like the, the ideas of uh, being able to import your own uh, screen actors and all these things and directors and stuff like that. So you had different, like, you know, real world people working with other real world people. That was a cool way of doing it. But I don't think that's available in this game. Not yet. I'm not sure that's in the plans or, you know, that's a modding, a modding thing. So we'll see what happens. But right now, welcome to Tinseltown Tycoon. You are now in control of your own movie production studio. You currently own a few scripts that need to be developed, but make good decisions, and you can turn this struggling studio into the award-winning behemoth. Your main goal is to earn money and stay solvent. Your other objectives are up to you. The main way to earn money is by licensing completed films. All films need to be produced from scripts that have been developed by you, by others. Keeping a steady supply of incoming scripts is key to ensuring you are consistently producing new movies that can earn you distribution and licensing fees. All right, so we'll just go down through. Okay, at the top of your screen, you will see important info such as cash, balance, and a date, as well as the speed controls. Use the speed control. Okay, okay, okay. On the left, be able to you. All right. So this is our overview, like our office overview here. We have um, four movies in development, nothing in production, and nothing being distributed. So we'll we'll try to gain some money on that. Nina Sanchez, Sean, you know, we got to try to get into the lore of this game. Who is the best directors? Who are the best uh, actors? We'll try. We'll try and figure it out. Projects. This development is where you can develop scripts that can be later. Be the basis for new movies. The quality of the script plays an important part in the quality of production of the finished movie, and it's important to keep steady supply of available scripts to make sure your studio is able to consistently produce new content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we have all these drafts that are not being done. So let's have a little look at what we're producing. We're producing a musical drama. Okay. Like uh, musical drama? Is that like uh, I don't know? Is that like what was that one? L.A. What's that one? Oh, I forget my name. I, it, Ryan Gosling's in it. You don't know what I'm talking about. Finding Julia. Finding Julia. Martial arts action. Let's make our own fake lore about these movies. So, so Finding Julio, like a young Mexican guy, just comes up into LA and just gets the, the head knocked off and for by bullies. And eventually he becomes uh, Julio, <laughs> the, the greatest martial arts artist in the world here. The guilty. Holiday family comedy. So when you think of holiday family comedy, right away I go to Home Alone. So the guilty, we'll make a cheap knockoff of Home Alone. We're a kid 
is actually trying to break into a uh, house owned by bandits. <laughs> uh, growing up in the jungle. Holiday family comedy. We're big on the holiday families. Growing up in the jungle. I don't know. What can we say about that movie? Maybe uh, holiday family comedy. Like a Thanksgiving show. The jungle. Uh, maybe it's like a Black Friday type movie. That's what we're going to say. That's how we're going to... But all these ones are getting at 0%. So let's just go to enter these right here and we'll just uh, read a little, I think it's like a tutorial for each one. Here you can see the current state of your studio's finances as well as access to further operations as a hiring staff. Okay, so we can hire staff from here. Casting director will help you find better candidates. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. All right, I don't think we should be getting any producers or any, you know, casting directors just yet. But I think we are really, really small. Your office gives you a quick snapshot of the state of your studios, info about the studio's reputation, upcoming dates, summer of existing projects. Maybe after we've produced like these four or five movies, like these right here, we go into we see what we're, st we're starting off with two million. So that's our base budget. That's what we'll keep our our cash flow as a guide. Two million dollars. So let's judge our success on if we break over that two million mark or if we dip below it. We're definitely going to dip way below it now because we have to, you know, to incur all these costs of these four movies and possibly new ones that we will be developing. So, you know, we're going to, but see if we can, you know, dip our toe over. News. Catch up the news around with industry events. Okay. I'm not a big guy in the news. I may, I may look at it from here and there. And if people want to see it, I'll look at it. Industry news. Awards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Social agreements. Reputation view helps you monitor your studio's overall reputation as well as your reputation with specific, specific groups of people. The higher reputation, the more likely is that top tier talent will want to work with you. Special deals and promises. Okay, promises. Promises are important in gaining access to talent and funding might not otherwise be available to you. Financing. The financing view will help you keep track of all your active financing deals, both with companies and individuals. Gives you access to bank loans. Successfully completing your terms of financing deals is a great way to increase your studio's reputation. While failing will hurt your reputation. Okay. All right. So let's just get the game going here. Let's uh, get these four started. We'll see what happens. So they're going to complete their drafts as we go on to, and maybe when we click into around probably like forty percent, we'll start the development on a couple new projects just so we have some in the pipeline. All right, lost twenty thousand dollars, dear. Maybe because a new month rolled over, as our monthly cost can be. All right, let's start development on a new project. Um, commission an original script. Uh, what do we want to do? What kind of shows are, is this? We are a small company. Dark comedy, moderate uh, pop popularity here. Let's go with the, um, you know, maybe. Uh, a martial arts movie in the revenge no I do like a good revenge movie though um, romance drama is low so let's go for something that's higher or something like that sports action moderate um, that's a bit too much money for us right now stoner comedy hi let's get a stoner comedy on the go here let's select a writer okay so Okay, genre faith, unknown writer, horrible genre, he's erratic, solid contrib contributor, $68,000, okay genre, he's erratic, um, let's go with David King, 63 year old, just a steady, steady writer, alright, so we've got, and the last second of Patrick, stoner comedy, so what can we make up for this, the last second of Patrick, is this dude right here, Patrick, this is his last chance. He's like 24 years old. His mom's about to kick him out of the house. This is his last chance to get his life in order. And uh, we'll see if he do or not. <laughs> All depends on how the rating of the, the strip is. So <laughs> let's commission another one. Um, let's go into a the haunted house. A high? Let's make a haunted house movie. Find a writer. All right, solid contributor. Good genre fit. Consistent. That's. You know what? I don't have to look at anybody. She's a female, 22, Sarah Hayes, getting the job. You have the job, lady. Let's go. 
So it's going to be exciting here now when we get our first couple of, of uh, drafts. These may be horrible drafts. I don't know. It may be great drafts. We'll see. But we want to kind of keep our drafts pretty high. So another month gone. $20,000 down the drain. We're at 1.827 right now. All right. Martial Arts Finding Julio is actually a 3.5 out of 5. That's pretty crazy, actually. Um, we'll refine the script. I think uh, what this does, touch up. We'll just, 14 days, we'll just look at the script, see if we can't uh, make it any better. $14,000 just to do that touch up though, so. A little bit of money here gone into it. Oh, we actually do have growing up in the jungle. We're going to definitely have to refine that. We'll do a significant $25,000. Yeah, we don't want a two star. We want to higher than that. At least want a three, four before we make our money. Oh my goodness, the guilty. Like seriously, what are what's going on over there? Forty thousand dollars. Got to do it. That's horrible writing. Okay, three and a half. We can work with that. We can refine that. Let's touch that up. So we're not producing nothing right away. So okay, so we really didn't we didn't get this movie up to you know a four star. That's where I really want to be is a four star. But right now we got nothing in development. So what I'm thinking is, let's start the production of this one right here. Let's start the production of Julio. Let's check on the video time right away. All right, video time's great. Let's start the production of Finding Julio. During pre-production, you can set all the options for the production of your new movie, including hiring director, cast crew, and setting the overall budget and financing terms. These options cannot be changed once production has begun. This is a small scope. So medium scope, under 20 million. Oh, no, no, no. This is a small scope. We only have $1.7 million to spend. So it was a small scope director. Let's have a little look here. Um, we got Olivia Matson, bottom rung. Okay, so they're all bottom rung. Bad genre fit, inspirational PR disaster. Good genre fit. Okay, so maybe Mo Anderson here. $80,000 though. We're gonna, we're gonna bite that little bit of cost and get him. Mo Anderson. Let's look at the male lead. All right, so we got an unknown actor, twenty-one thousand um, dollars, fifty-two thousand dollars for a background actor with a good genre. But you know what? We're gonna go with Tim Cooper here. He's an unknown actor, no special traits, just nineteen thousand dollars. Here you go, lad. Here's your first uh, first big role, and this is right here, female lead, female. All right, she's a background, so it's 88,000. So there's no cheap option here for us, really. Um, good genre. We'll go with this one right here. Michelle Green, 39 years old. You have the job, lady. Um, you director wants... Yeah, here you go. You want to do it on location? Sure. Let's give our people what they want. So we're at $195,000 right now for production. Uh, what is this? This is like a martial arts movie. Let's get this going up here around... And seven people. We'll get around four, five people on the camera. Around four people on the sound here. Low effects needed, so we don't need a big effect, so. You know what? Let's go all out. He's only $32,000. Alright, so that $479,000 to do this movie. Begin the production. Alright, so that's going to start in development right now. So we can keep track of that as we're going here. So let's keep track of our scripts first here. An actor friend has invited to a house party with other actors and writers. Do you want to go? Yes. At one point, everyone decides to play some drinking games. Actors versus writers. Since you are neither, they let you choose who to help. Which team? We're going to go with the writers. After falling behind, you help an anchor. Anchor the writers team. Pull out one. They come from behind victory. They celebrate you as one of their own. Several writers even promise to base future characters on you. Beautiful. This is what we wanted. 1.2 million dollars. A little bit scary here on the money. So we got musical drama. One last squeeze. That's a little better than what it was. Maybe not. I'm not even sure. But I gotta get better than that. We gotta make this better than that. Not happy with that three star rating. Ooh, look at this right here. The Cave of Blood. We didn't even talk for this one. So what are we gonna say about the Cave of Blood? What can we say about the Cave of Blood? It is a movie about, you know, a house. 
a house, a haunted house movie, so is it. it has to be in a whole house on top of a massive hill. And underneath the hill, there's a cave of blood. Basically, bad things happen. <laughs> so let's have a little, oh, I didn't even look at this last time. So it's only one lead roll. Uh, simple sets, simple effects. Looking for adults. Let's refine the script with a little touch up here. Maybe just a little touch. See if we can't get to four stars. That'll be great for us to get to. Um, how's the production going? All right, production. We're in. We're in production. We're out of pre-production. Right into big production here. As finding Julio's trying to see, trying to stretch it, stretch its legs here. All right, growing up in jungles. Fifth is two and a half. Let's refine the script here. Touch up again. Commission it. Get it out of there. Get it. Get it going. All right, one last squeeze. Still at three stars here. We got to Can we get it? Can we get a little better than that? All right. Well, we got nothing, so it's easy, easy peasy. Ooh, Cave of Blood actually did get put up that extra little bit. It got put up that extra little bit. Now let's start production on Cave of Blood. Small scope. Pick our director. Unknown genre. Bottom wrong. Um, let's go with this guy though. He's unknown. He's consistent. He's only fifteen thousand dollars. That's like a massive save. Um. Pretty much that's what we're gonna have to do with this one. This is gonna be horrible genre fit, bad genre fit. But this guy has a little bit of talent here. So Nathan Lopez, my man, you it's all on you. Soundstage and location. This is a big cost on the movie here. Let's give it a little bit bump it up. You gotta have good sound. Um Seventy-four thousand dollars. Yeah, let's go. Um, three hundred sixty-four thousand dollars. A little bit cheaper than the last movie, which is good. So we're down to eight hundred thousand dollars now, which is a little bit scary. We have four in the pipes here. Um, we're going to start development of a new project, though. Commission original script. Um, let's go with the prime drama. Very high. Let's find a writer for that. Tanner, Tanner, Terry Tennerson, you get the job. It's a bad genre fit, but you know what? Um, let's try to make this one a little bit better. We're into, you know what? We're into the little, little touch here, the, the, the single digits, no more millions. I don't, I'm, I'm a little bit scared. I'm not gonna lie, how are we doing here? 64%. Good, good, good. We can't have any big delays here. Oh, this one's done. I'm gonna find that. Let's get that. So we didn't really upgrade these here. We gotta keep on refining them. Refine them. Didn't get really what I wanted out of those. We got guilty here. You gotta go up. So we did go up a little touch. Not much though. Um, do I sit on this one a little bit until I can, you know? I think I am going to sit on the guilty for a little bit. Ooh, we actually did go up in this one last squeeze. And the stoner comedy. But really, we're not in any like place here to... Uh, oh, we're actually in post-production now with Finding Julio. So until that movie gets produced, we can't really do much here. So we can refine this one. Um, just to touch up again. Just to try to get it up over the uh, three and a half into the four category. Yeah, I can't do much there until uh, we gotta wait on finding Julio. Hopefully, that movie just does bonkers for us, gets us out of a little cash strap situation here. The bar in the hills is having industry night. All types of people are invited. You want to go? Yes. There's a group of exhausted-looking producers standing around the dartboard, but not actually playing, and a group of writers talking about sentence structure while playing pool. Let's play to try and play sort of darts. Let's go to the. Let's go over to writers. You have a good time hanging with them. Pedantic writers they seem to enjoy the company as well. There you go. Uh, we got nothing in the race there. So everything is complete here. Production. Ooh, we're almost done. So let's just try to refine again. Touch up. Commission it. Just a little touch up. Fine. it. Commission it. We're down to 585. Not too, too, too worried. All right, completed. Script quality good. Production scope small, bad. That's not a good. 
camera quality bad. Post production great or good. Michelle Green was really good. So was Tim Cooper was okay. Mo Anson was poor. You know we haven't got any money for you know big stuff here. Let's finalize this. The completed view will allow you to check the status of any movie with final production. See current distribution and status review scores and more. All right, finding Ulia. Let's go to licensing right away. Licensing view allows you to turn your completed projects into income by searching for distribution offers and accepting the one you are choosing. Offers can be for different time spans, different venues, depending on how much distribution company wants to film in question. All right, so what do we have here? We got Finding Ulio. Let's get some deals here. See what we can get. All right. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we can get a worldwide video streaming. So, okay. So we're going to be streaming is the only. We didn't get nothing in television and nothing in theatrical. Okay. So we're going to like Netflix, Prime, and like Hula. Hula. <laughs> like, that's what we're going to. So what's the most money we can get? It's 36 months. This one right here is 2.2 .2 for 30 months. Then we can org. So they get it for 30 months, and then we can get a new deal. Is that is that the way I'm 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 looking at that? It costs us 4.7 to make this movie. So let's turn that into. Let's go with a 36 month with 2.6 flat fee, except offer. Look at that money in our bank account right now. Isn't that just bonkers? And. Uh, we would get a critic score or do we get that now maybe after it licenses okay we got it. yo well, let's look at this fan rating three star two and a half star for the critics beautiful just beautiful first movie from the company loving it um actually that's gonna end this video right here um but you know what this game got got its hooked to me a little bit I'm, I'm, I'm liking the ideas here there's not much to look at for a video you know you know for you know producing some some video for you guys but you know you can see what the game could be um you know you gotta use some imagination but look we got one movie going uh where do we see our projects here where you see a production completed here one movie going look at that 2.8 so tim cooper look at him yeah, so, you know, fake lore, build a lore up into it, it could be cool. Oh, that's our cash on hand, look at this, this is our 1.97, look at that. And actually, we'll go and hire some people as, as we get some more movies made, we'll get some producers and stuff, so anyway, I'm getting hit on myself. My name is Specplay, please uh, like and please subscribe to the channel here, it helps us so much. And we'll see you next time. Uh, we'll definitely play another episode of this here, Tinseltan Tycoon. But we'll see you guys later, peace.